one. Call Hello, you help by Slam Shy by Shepherd Carpenter Dash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders, the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedoms to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, that look like the heathen nations. And to the Aquas that are listening and learning, to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone uh, here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson. And um, as you can see, my favorite part looks completely different. Um, <clears throat> you know, during this time of year, as the, uh, as the winter sets in, you know, and uh, basically, this is going to be just like a spiritual rant, but I'll, I, I will use some scriptures um, on how, you know, the, the lies and the fabrications that uh, the, that these Idumians have propagated in order to hide themselves and to advance their uh, their agendas, all right? And and the attack, you know, uh, um, what's his name? Theodore, Theodore Roosevelt, you know, I forget which number president he was, but he said, uh, you know, a half century ago or more that, um, uh, um, actually it was more than a half century ago, um, he said that, uh, that a thorough education and knowledge of the Bible, um, is, is far greater than any college education that one could receive. And, um, when you really think about it, it it's, it's beyond true because they wouldn't be able to operate this whole, uh, democracy, democracy, or I broke the word down, demo meaning demon, crazy meaning rule. All right, they wouldn't be able to rule over the people with, the, with the, this demonic type uh, uh, stupor that people are in without knowledge of the Bible. All right, because their whole society was based up, based upon biblical principles, um, but only to a certain degree. And then they violate those principles when it comes to enforcing law. All right, and so, you know, I, matter of fact, let me grab a scripture. Um, I'm going to go to Obadiah 1 and 6. Well, there's only one chapter in Obadiah, so. And it reads, How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Alright, so through research, through the Bible. Alright, through the Bible and through research. So, um, they've, you know, did lots of things. One of them is the one of the main things they did uh, was the meet changing the meaning of words. This new speak, all right. Like they they try to like the word ruddy, the word uh 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 the word uh, uh adama, and the word uh, uh adamai. You know those words. 